progress back here. We haven't found the septic yet. We think we know the vicinity. There's a bunch of pipes coming out in a ditch down there. Wanted to get the roots of these bushes out of here. All right, let's get the final after look. This is all trash that I threw over to upgraded. And this is what I'm keeping. Okay, so here's a before look, even in the winter. This was last year when we were looking at it. The entire backside of this barn is completely overgrown. You can't even walk behind it. You can't access it. You can't do nothing. So that's kind of the starting point for this barn clearing project. All right, I'm uh, headed in the backyard, start working on while I'm here. And it's winter. Pull some of this garbage here, all these bushes that have overgrown in this area. Look at some of the leftovers in the open barn. Oh, did you see that? All I saw was a long tail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a snake. That's a big snake. Listen to him rattling his tail. Look what the cat dragged in over here. Hey, there's a big snake in here. I'm, you're just in time. No, 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 no. Come on, I'm going to teach you how to handle snakes. This is a concrete. Uh, what you call it here but it's part of the shed it's, it's one of them things uh, like inside there they got them like yeah, landscaping places in that in that barn there's three concrete slots and one of them actually has some gravel in there but we need more room so the more of this trash I can get cleaned up the better supposed to rain today but I just wanted to get out get in a machine for a little while it's been a while we've had the hunting going on so I'll clean this up give you a look afterwards I'm gonna clean this whole thing behind the barn here as you can see there's Two, three, four, there's four stalls back here that we could put to use. All right, we're gonna put some tunes on. Get a little shot of go go juice. Get going. Okay, so when we uh, showcase little mini projects like this with the machines, just try to keep in mind just how much labor this would be, um, you know, with hand tools and to try and remove all this. I mean, these are, you know, six, seven, eight foot high briars, super thick and embedded. You know, the roots are all intertwined. You can't even walk in there. You get caught up in these. So the machine is awesome. Mini excavator is like literally one of my it is my favorite machine you know hands down it's above the tractors and skid steers skid steers are great too tractors are great but just try to imagine you know trying to tackle this by hand and these are all briars and some of these trees are two three four inches thick so if you do own land and you could somehow afford it a mini excavator is a wonderful tool you know hands down i think it's time for our next dumpster here just uh, most of these PVC pipes over here are dry rotted and brittle, so it's dumpster time. All right, a 20 yarder <clears throat> full. Second dumpster, uh, but we we've made a lot of good progress. Wow, for all of our regulars, who remembers this? 
Um, it was kind of fun looking back here throughout this last year of how much progress we've made. Um, but we're going to order another dumpster soon and continue the progress. But it's been quite a really cool life adventure. And thanks for joining us. And thanks to our new viewers. If you enjoy this stuff, we hope you stick with us. Join our family here because we got a lot of new Missouri Ozarks life, land, and rehab adventures and land management adventures coming at you. Here's kind of a midstream look here. I'm saving a few pieces that are decent. I'm gonna grade this section a little. I'm gonna move them pipes over to here so I can get this one cleaned out. This is their ashes in that. That's a job for a skid steer that may or may not be on the way. It's all their ashes from their burn, burn barrel or burn pit. Um, and then I'll grade all this out here. This, I'm gonna pull most of this junk right in here. But where it's all rocks right here, big rocks. And there's a runoff ditch right there. But hopefully I'll be able to utilize some of this storage, if you will, back here. making progress it's kind of slowing down now there's trash all mixed in here so I'm pushing out these big rocks gotta keep getting in and out to pick the trash out but I like to get this all graded you know like down here there was some there was a about a three inch PVC pipe you know and they got so many weird things here it's like okay was that part of a hopefully not a septic system because uh, they we could never we haven't found the septic yet we think we know the vicinity um, it's on our hit list there's a bunch of pipes coming out in the ditch down there so we're thinking one of them might be a septic coming out um, we'd like to get it pumped and inspected so uh, Oh, we had a builder over, he's giving us a bid for the basement area. Put in a washer dryer and another shower down there for uh, when people come for deer hunting. Reminds me, I gotta reply to a few messages. Closer to being cleaned up for today. You know, and then they they like stack these rocks in certain areas, like here. Okay, I see. I get it. There's this is where the water comes down right here. So then they stack some rocks. 
style here, which you know, is pretty normal, I guess, that way. If I find we need them, I'll restack them. But right now, all this brush needs to come out of here. Consume, it was consuming the barn anyways, not anymore. Wanted to get the roots of these bushes out of here. Got to be careful, there's a uh, drain, there's several drains coming out of the wall here. Get some stone order to get a few piles stacked up here so I could like this would be nice with some clean, some like one inch clean in here. So we'll get one last after look and I'll be done with this spot for now. This is what the dumpster's mainly for. Get this cleaned up. There's uh, some of the stone I was telling you about. Put some better use. They got an old back blade. Get rid of that. That's wasting space. I could be using for something a little more, you know, valuable. Them garden hoses are all trash. I don't know why they save them. We've tried like six of them and they all got holes in them. All right, let's get the final after look. This is all trash that I threw over the concrete wall from back in here. Got all the stuff removed. Got this rough graded. Got all the trees and brush out here. Got that rough graded, pushed the rock pile. This I'm saving for either the tractor or if we do get a skid steer, that's ash. Got this one cleaned out, rough graded. And this is what I'm keeping and storing all that. Um, this here, I got a little bit of a rough grade on. There's more ash piled here. This is all wet and nasty, and it's uh, where I pulled a bunch of trees last time I was out here. And dumpster pile, I'm going to order a dumpster and big burn pile. Going to start working on burning this winter. So, progress. I uh, didn't mean to come on this, but I was on my way to work on something else with the excavator, and well, here we are. So it's good progress though anyways. I mean, I could probably plant some grass back in here. Put some fresh stone in each of these, some like one inch clean and have lawn up to it, you know, so this is probably where I'll move all my implements. Progress. Love that mini, can't beat a machine like that.